what's up guys and welcome to another top 500 guide video today we're going to be doing torb as voted by you guys in my community post poll so make sure you guys go and view my posts and make sure you vote on the next hero i'm going to do let's get right into this first thing first on torb or torby i like to call him a lot of people use his ultimate basically wrong they uh, use his ultimate and then they just hold down left click when there's like a diva tricksing in their face or ryan's blocking with his shield things like that what you want to do when you use your ultimate you always want to like kind of hold it down if there's no one obviously in front of you like a matrix there's no genji deflex there's nothing that's gonna basically make your lava go in a different direction or get denied you can always just pop out like this and then shoot 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 and then you can hold wait just wait a bit wait a bit and then shoot around and always try to lob it far away into their back line because it's going to make their back line disperse and just run around like they're on a kikuru it's going to make their kikuru also use suzu that's going to waste the ability on her part if you do see her so i would always molten for her but yeah you always want to do that try to force them back with it as well if there is a ryan he, he does have shield put a little bit at his feet and then shoot the rest kind of in the middle of his team behind him and try to get it behind him if he does walk into it do that you'll be basically set on his ultimate if you just prioritize it right and you don't get deflect or eaten by davis matrix also make sure when someone is tracer you always want to aim for the head you can basically almost one shot tracer every time his projectiles on his gun are actually crazy if you do land him right you can just keep spraying and eventually you'll hit tracer's head doink he's dead torb obviously when you're attacking you always kind of want to place your turret in the back line of your team just in case there's anybody trying to flank you obviously when you're attacking like through this door right here it's around circuit royale they do have a sim so I'm gonna place my turret right here actually behind the cart so it doesn't get destroyed immediately. It's of course gonna get destroyed immediately, but that's fine. So on attack, you just wanna try to get a pick. Just like Widow would do basically. Try to get a pick, try to build your build your ultimate up. As soon as he shields, now I'm gonna place my turret. Mainly wait until your Sigma shields and place your turret. Turret's always gonna get destroyed. Don't worry about it too much. I would always try to place turn on top of car when you're on Havana due to your kind of your turn kind of useless when it's is on attack. Just let it get some damage there. They do have a widow and a Hanzo, so you always want to try to pick off the widow with your with your lava bolts. I'll place my turn back here actually, just so it can survive a bit longer. Even though it's not going to, if it's like pushing it, but that's fine. I'm gonna back up here. I have to focus more now. More has no phase, so keep a lookout. I'm gonna shoot at Widow now, she's not getting pressured, so headshot her a little bit. Try to push the Sig out position. And he's anti so I'm gonna get right in his face. Get some right clicks on him. Got him. Got Mercy with my turret and main. Basically behind cart, I just left it there. Here's someone high ground as well. Where got her. A little advancement on point, I'm gonna put my turret up on top. Just so they can't deal with it as much. They do have D.Va though, so he's gonna destroy it real quick, but I'm gonna try to get her out of the mech. There we go. Try to get Mercy. Got Mercy. My current is still up. Diva's gonna try to go kill it, so I'm gonna rush after her. Should be one shot though, she is one shot. Try to get the Widow now. Place your turn down. There you go, got Widow. Like I said, on attack, you always want to place your turn kind of behind the cart, but a little far enough away where it can shoot people and I get blocked by cart. I'm going to press my E on Moira. Try to get in her. But when Moira's ulting, you do always want to just do your overload power and just push into her and start right-clicking her like crazy. It's a very good way to shut her down. Contest Widow, always contest Widow. I do have my ult, so I'm gonna put some on him. Hanzo, I'm gonna run past Diva real quick. Try to find Bat. Too bad I couldn't get on a Bat, but that's fine. Made him back up. Got Ana with it. I'm waiting until she gets in the mech. Come on, come on. I missed my left click on her. It's fine though, I'm just keep pushing up. I'm trying to go left here, because they're all trying to push right. Oh, Hanzo's on me. Got him with the right clicks, place my turn down now. I'm gonna try to get in the so she can't kill my turn. But she did anyways. Still got her though, with the left clicks. Uh, I don't know. And about. Uh, I'm actually gonna place my turn all the way in the back here. Right here in the corner. So now Diva's not gonna be able to kill it really, unless, I'm, unless she gets into it like that and gets ulted. 
that spot where I placed a turret right under point was actually a really good spot. That's usually where you want to place your turret when you're in battle. You just want to throw it in the corner or go over there and place it. I usually like going over there and place, placing it just because it's already looking that way. It doesn't have to turn around because we just throw it and it's looking at the wall. It has to turn around still, but that's fine as well. If you're in a little rush and you can't really get over there, you can just throw it, toss it. Just like this, I can just toss mine right here and do a little bit of damage. I throw my turn in the back. I get Diva now. My turn's behind him, shooting him. Kill him, kill him. Nice. That's what I mean by throwing my turn down there, by the way. It's very, very helpful. Top of here, just behind here, behind the little little barrels on Havana. Just so it doesn't get shot at by Widow on top as much. I gotta keep contesting her, which I did get her. My turn's still doing damage right now. They can't really kill it because it's behind the thing. Sometimes you do want to smack your turn. I keep it up, but I can't. I do have Widow coming back, so I'm gonna be looking for Widow again. Widow does have walls. I'm gonna just keep her behind there. I did headshot her just now. Try to get Genji with my right clicks. There we go, got Genji. What was that too? On the end part of this, you always want to place your turn all the way in the back. Just when it's about to basically get into the castle, you want to place it all the way in the back. Just so it can do damage and they can't really do nothing about it. For the most part. I'm gonna use all here. Just place it around me. Genji's okay, still having a problem with the I don't know where he is. There he is. There you go. Kill Genji with my, my lava. I'm going Kikuru. Kikuru is a big target to kill here. My turn's still popping off in the back. Fish has no recall, so I'm going to try to one shot her with my headshot. Now, right click her when she's close. As you can see, we're in overtime and my turn's still popping off occasionally. So, I did get a Moira pick already. So, even if we lose this fight, it's still a perfect spot for the turret. I'll try to get high ground here and just place my turret up here. And go after Genji. Uh, easy killing Genji. My turret's gonna be up here and they can't really kill it on this side. So, it's good when Monkey, say Monkey, wants to dive into my team, he'll get shot at by it. Try to keep your turret alive as long as that you can, at least. There you go, got the left clicks on Monkey. I don't really need to push up too much. I know Genji's on me, so I'm gonna hold my weight till he pushes me, then use my overdrive. There he is, he's dead. I killed by my turn mostly. And that's what I mean by placing a turn up there and away from, this is kind of with any map, just away from enemies and they can't really kill it unless they have to like go around here and kill it while we're all over here, so. Try to right click the Monkey, wherever he is on my head. There we go, my turn's popping off right now, so that's gonna help me. Looks like Hanzo's on my right, so I'm gonna push that. Got him with my left click. I'm gonna go repair my turn. You always wanna repair your turn when you have downtime. If it's in a certain spot. Just make sure you do so when they're not pushing. Just repair it real quick and then dip right back out. Go right back into combat. Help your team out. Try to right click Ryan here since he's pushing on our team. Got him. Now I'm gonna try to push up my team. I'm gonna use my all so they can't really push point. I'm just gonna throw it over there while he's pushing me. Now I deal with him. He's dead. The enemy, but that's fine. I basically covered most of the entrance to the point, so it kind of delayed him just now to get into the point. So that was good. Instead of trying to just shoot Ryan with it, which I could have, but I'd rather try to delay them onto point, which I did. With the all. And there goes my turret, still up. Oh no. Push your turn while your teammate's running away. You always want to do that. It forces them back just like that, and you can get a kill from it. Place my turn back here just for my supports. There you go, spray it all over the supports. Place my turn again on point. Now focus Bastion. Try to get in his face. There you go. I hear Hanzo up on top. 
There we go, we got Hanzo. Always try to place your turn in the back, like I keep saying. If I place my turn back there, it's gonna do some work before it gets destroyed. Try to distract them so they can't destroy my turret. It's just gonna tickle them a bit. It's gonna keep going on them periodically. There you go, it keeps going on them. So my turn died from Sig. If I knew it was gonna happen. Place another turret on the stairs since I get it up. I'm gonna place it right here since we're having trouble getting through here. Get in front of my turret, kind of, kind of block some of the damage. Keep trying to block some of the damage for the turret. There we go. Now we're finally through. So what I like to do with her is always try to stand in front of your turret. I know it's kind of weird, but stand in front of your turret, use your E, and you'll block most of the damage for it, so they can't do anything to it. Now I'm going to place my turret kind of right here. Kind of behind the elephant's foot, so you can't really shoot it. You can shoot it a little bit, but not much. Good thing we have a wall too, so they can't do nothing to it. Now I'm going to place my turret up here, up in the front, since there's a sim down so it's gonna my turn's gonna die just keep trying to throw some left clicks out wrap all the way around so he's using all so my turn behind them go after the Farah Farah's gonna try to clear your turret I got Farah my turret is still back there by the way popping off which they just finally realized that it was back there oh, I got Mercy with my little left click I'll go to the left, throw my turret behind them, then use my ult since they're visoring. There we go, got one. I should be able to get Sig here. With Doomfist, there we go, got Sig. Now you're gonna want to back up and find another place for your turret. Sometimes you do want to place your turret behind them like that, and it actually really does work out if they don't expect it much. So now my turn's gonna be on Farah a little bit. Farah is lit in the corner, and there you go. Got got Farah my turn. I'm gonna push into it. There we go. We see nine. So I was gonna push into them. If they do touch the car, they can't really do anything about my turn. They do have to turn to their right to kill their, kill my turn. So always try to get in their back line and place your turn behind them when they're obviously not pushing. Got McCree with my left clicks. I'm trying to prevent the res here. Too bad they got it. Current control. Snipe the Anna though. Just keep sniping him as far, but it's actually insane. Place my turn right here. I can see a little bit and won't get destroyed. There you go. McCree's walking right into the current line of sight. Try to fix it up a bit. Keep it, keep it up and running. The McCree. I'm gonna try to get the out of my right clicks, my left clicks. There we go. Now right click the Sig. So when we're on that last map of my Paul, I usually like going down here with Torb and placing it right here while everybody's fighting top. So Sig can't really shoot it, and that's just gonna deny him a lot right here. There you go. Got two picks already from it. Now go on Mercy. Did you just say? You want to use? I'm about to say you always want to use your ult in there. He did try to block my ultimate, but you, you saw I stopped shooting my ultimate, and I did that because he was gonna eat all my ultimate. Biggest block. Stopped using my molten core, and then I waited a second, and then I ran behind him so he couldn't block my lava anymore, and I killed Sig and someone else very easily, actually, just because I ran behind them block it anymore i'm gonna place my turn down here now when i have the opportunity right behind here try to block it with my e keep blocking it now need healing so get around the corner try to keep it alive as long as i could there you go place another one down in the corner so you can't do anything to it want to take my right clicks there we go also, when you are on point fighting, you always kind of want to get in a corner, place your turret down, and then just keep fighting. Because what are they going to do? They're going to kill the turret while you're in their face? No. They're just going to, you know, they're going to try to kill, they're going to try to kill you. Torb's going to be coming to point, but he doesn't know there's a turret behind them, so it's going to do a lot of damage. And he's dead already. So, now I'm waiting for another guy to come in. There's Sig. 
So he's gonna try to kill this turret. Trying to get the turret. I'm gonna kill the turret turret since I see it. I use Molen Core since Sig used that. I'm gonna stop shooting for a bit. Try to shoot in the back so they can't really walk in on point. Yeah, my doom is trying. Hope you guys enjoyed that video that was my top 500 guide for torb if you guys have any questions about anything leave it down in the comments below and i will be sure to answer your questions on some more tips maybe about torb or anything you would like to ask about torb or any other heroes if you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like if you enjoy my content overall please subscribe have a great day and or night and peace